Hi my friend. The most wicked man in the world, who has never ceased to intrigue for over fifty years, cannot shake off his notorious reputation or be challenged by any rival in spreading the laws of evil. Alistair Crowley, chosen by the BBC in 2002 as the most villainous figure in history, was born in 1875 and held British nationality. He is the spiritual father of the Satanist groups, and no one can describe his life without labeling him as the devil himself. The devil of many talents, as Crowley is considered, was a writer, poet, social critic, Sufi, and occultist. He had his own religion and a revered deity that he proclaimed, the god, Thelma, from the ancient Egyptian pantheon. Crowley believed he was the prophet of the new age of personal freedom, declaring that this was dictated to him by the god, Horus. The devoted servant of Satan embarked on his quest for truth, as he called it, in 1998, and in that period, he joined the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, known as the largest English society practicing black magic. However, the secret rituals of this group were, in the eyes of the devil, as some describe him, too tame to satisfy his thirst. The teenager who started by killing small cats and offering them as sacrifices to demons, not yet eighteen, needed more evil to quench his thirst. This led him to withdraw from the society and begin personal experiments in an isolated place in Bolskine, England, in 1900. Little did I know that Crowley would begin his work there and soon his fame spread, rumors of strange voices emanating from his mansion leaked out, until everyone was convinced that the devil himself inhabited that palace. The most famous magician of the modern era responded to those rumors in his own unique way, by sending a check to the butcher. Crowley's website contained satanic names and magical symbols. As soon as the butcher opened the check, he cut a vein in his hand, becoming a church worker and an alcoholic. Crowley had had enough of life in Bolskine after mastering all the arts of magic. He ventured into the world with the aim of dedicating as many practitioners of black magic as possible and organizing a group of black magic professionals. He traveled between Egypt and America for studies, and during this time, his fundamental philosophy summarized in his words and speeches did not change, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. The number of followers of the most wicked man in the world increased, especially after he released numerous books advocating absolute freedom and emphasizing that only the devil deserves worship. Some believe that Crowley himself was the devil, going to him with sacrifices and offering him their help, while he often declared himself a servant of the forces of evil. This widespread belief led him to establish a permanent base on the island of Corfu, near Sicily, where he settled and named the base the Abbey of Thelma. It became a pilgrimage site for all believers in Crowley's Gospel, where he held black ceremonies, performed magical rituals, and offered sacrifices to amplify the power of evil. Despite the remoteness of the Abbey from prying eyes, it was eventually discovered by the locals and the authorities when child abductions became recurring. In 1923, a child disappeared, and rumors spread that Crowley had offered him as a sacrifice. There was no escape for him but to be expelled, which led him to return to England with his group, where he began publishing his works while his followers continued to spread his principles. Some attribute the curse of the pharaohs, which has spread stories in Egypt, to Crowley. He declared that Horus had sent him to protect the tombs of the pharaohs, which led some to believe that Crowley was determined to guard these tombs during his visit to Egypt and prevent anyone from desecrating the temples and graves of the gods. Alistair Crowley was known by many titles, including, the father of devils, the great magician of the twentieth century, and, the wickedest man in the world. However, Crowley bestowed upon himself a numerical title, which was, 666. This title became famous worldwide and he signed his letters with it. He also wrote a complete book with the same title, which aligns with a prophecy in the Torah, chapter 13, verses 1 to 81. According to this prophecy, the cursed number will be on the forehead of a beast, which is a manifestation of the devil as the apocalypse approaches and the world perishes. Crowley always affirmed that since ancient times, prophets had foretold the downfall of the Christian era, and a similar description was mentioned in the book of Revelation.
which depicted the prophet of the next era as a negative figure represented by a beast with seven heads and ten horns. Crowley considered his talents qualified him to be that beast. Crowley. A secret agent for British intelligence. One of Alistair Crowley's most famous books is, The Law. The book consists of the sacred texts of Thelema, which he wrote in Egypt in 1904. It includes three chapters, each of which took him one hour to write. Crowley claims that the book was authored by a spirit or entity named Iwas, whom he later described as his guardian angel. The book is based on the principles of, Do what thou wilt, as evident in phrases such as, Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law, and, Love is the law, love under will. It's worth mentioning that several dramatic works have portrayed Crowley's character, including the famous American drama, Supernatural, where he appeared as the king of hell and the sole negotiator in soul-selling deals. This seems to be the true depiction of him. In 1944, Crowley passed away, and he was not given a church funeral. Instead, his followers held a black ceremony where they burned his body while reciting prayers praising Lucifer. However, one of the strangest things observed about Crowley during his numerous travels, where he visited most countries in the world, was his extraordinary ability to impersonate different personalities. He would blend in with the locals to the extent that no one could discern him from the native citizens. Thanks for watching my friend don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos bye bye.